Hey everyone, this is Tim and Deanna with Lunarlander Explore. This weekend trip is a little bit different than our usual trips. Deanna, you want to tell them why? Yeah, we're going to get our Christmas tree from the forest. We've never done this before, but we got a permit to chop our own Christmas tree. So we are on our way to El Dorado National Forest. We pretty much just entered the forest a few minutes ago. And we're going to look for a campsite and look for a Christmas tree. So first time winter camping, first time tree chopping. Let's hope it all goes well. Good morning. Uh, we just woke up from a very cold night, but fortunately we were very warm. Some of you ask us how do we stay warm in eye camper during cold weather. Like last night it was well below 30. Let me just show you a little bit. There's nothing special. It's just a heated blanket by this brand Ignik. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Honestly, I had never heard of this brand before, but I found it in REI. So it has three levels of heat. It has high that stays hot for one hour and then turns off. Then you have medium that stays hot uh, for four hours and low that stays hot for eight hours. I know that's a little bit confusing, but uh, we honestly prefer the high just to get the... Uh, ourselves warm and then after that we can retain the heat and under the over the uh, heated heating pad we have this rumple blanket with this Sherpa side which makes it super cozy and besides that obviously we have our sleeping bags this is my sleeping bag and inside uh, my sleeping bag is rated for zero I'm a cold sleeper okay and then I also have this um, merino wool insert by uh, cocoon that adds additional 12 uh, degrees which makes it super comfortable and also it's really good to maintaining the the cleanliness of your sleeping bag because it absorbs the sweat and all that grossness while you sleep so you don't have to wash your sleeping bag as often you can just wash the insert so this is our setup um, so heating pad not heating blanket heating pad uh, additional blanket over the heating pad and our sleeping bags let's go find our Christmas tree
so we are looking for a Christmas tree. We thought that we had found a perfect one, but when we looked in the back, it was completely naked. So we are on a quest to find our perfect Christmas tree today. What did we find? We have found the right tree. It's perfect. Small but mighty. Come on, Charlie. 